With sunshine in abundance, Cape Summers are made for polo, fashion and champagne. And not necessarily in that order. Michelle headed out for a day of fun and style. It was a perfect day to show off the latest additions to your summer wardrobe. And the Valley of Life was waiting to welcome the A-list. Celebrated as a gathering of polo enthusiasts in the beautiful Cape Town Wildlands, today's event is one of the most sought-after tickets of the South African social calendar. Offering a blend of polo, the finest fashion and cuisine, as well as top celebrities and influencers, there's only one thing left to do. Let the games begin. Michelle met up with the mastermind behind the event. Anina, this is the eighth year of the polo event. Did you ever imagine that it would be this big? We could never have imagined it would be this big eight years later. It's grown from strength to strength and we're super happy with where the event is today. People just love the sport. It is the sport of kings. There's this perception that polo is an elite sport. How are you changing that opinion? Obviously very aspirational, but we also try and make it accessible for everyone. So this year we added a picnic area. You can come and enjoy the polo. You can buy some beautiful food from the gourmet food trucks we have and just have a relaxed picnic on the grass. The fashion on display here is spectacular. What are your thoughts? We really felt that we should celebrate Cape Town summer and you know it is kind of polo chic so beautiful preppy dresses and summer suits in pastel colors, brights and florals so it's all about looking pretty and preppy and sophisticated and chic. Check for the ladies and dapper for the gentlemen with a selection of looks for the upwardly mobile young man about town. While the suit is always a safe bet, the trendsetters blaze a trail of their own. This is a creation that I actually came up with. The shirt was made by Liz Ogumbo from Kenya, based in South Africa in Johannesburg, and the pants were made by a guy called Lunga Kabanyane of Lungster Creation. My shoes, uh, Christian Louboutin, had to go all out. My dress is from Lungster Creation. Tried, tested, love him. Cape Town Summer to me, showing leg, and you gotta show skin, so. Every aspect forms part of a formula meticulously crafted by the event's MD at the estate. Simone, the event has grown exponentially from guests flying in from all around the world. Now, what is some of the feedback that you do receive? The guests love the event. It's just fantastic to come to the beautiful Winelands, the place we call Valley of Life. I know that you and the team are very passionate about making this inclusive. How are you going about achieving that? We've launched the Equestrian Academy, and what we do with that is everybody cheers for the ponies and the players, but the men, the back of the scenes, working really hard, getting the horses fit, looking after them, looking even after the players. The grooms are are an integral part of the sport and our intention is to truly invest in them and keep investing in them in education and furthering their careers in, in the sport that they so dearly love which is polo. Among the guests of honour attending the event was a Tony Award winning actor and singer who come all the way from Hollywood. Anika Noni Rose is best known for voicing the character Princess Tiana in Disney's The Princess and the Frog. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome her to South Africa and to Mela. Anika, welcome. Thank you, I'm very happy to be here. This year's theme is Cape Town Summer and you look absolutely spectacular. What inspired your look? I wanted to show some of the colors that I know from the African sunset or sunrise. So I wanted to sort of represent that in my outfit. Then it was time for style to give way to sport as the matches began in earnest. A polo match consists of six seven-minute time periods called chakas. And while the riders remain in the saddle for the entire game, each pony plays a maximum of only two non-consecutive chakas per match. The origins of polo can be traced back to ancient Persia, and the game in its present-day form was developed in the Indian city of Manipur. Originally, it was considered to be a form of cavalry training. And while it remains a test of horsemanship, eye coordination and courage, today it's all about the thrill of the experience. Big by Gelding, he's been hard pressed there now. Through comes Jabalani. Jabalani whistles. Sound! As with any ancient game, polo also has its own jargon and some quaint customs. Divot stomping is the long held tradition where spectators come onto the grass to stomp back whatever was lifted during play. But looking around is the ideal time to see who the fashionistas are. 
these are Christian Louis Vuittons, uh, Marie Soul Bottom. And outfit wise, this is his color design. He's a local designer in South Africa. And yeah, he knows my style, he knows what I want, and he's the best person to go to when I need help. So I was just like, I'm going to the polo, and this is the theme, put something together. I think polo is classic. I haven't watched it live before, and certainly always fascinated by different kinds of sports, especially sports that have been inaccessible to most people. This actually is our first time, and, and funny enough, we were just saying that uh, this is one of our bucket list items, so check. With the final match decided, the top team could enjoy the satisfying taste of victory. As the sun sets on a perfect Cape Town summer day, it's easy to understand why this is the most sought-after ticket on the social calendar. From the most sumptuous food to the finest fashion and the world's top influencers and celebrities, I can't wait for next year and I think I better start looking for my wardrobe.